Hi everyone. I haven't recorded any of my old columns lately. Uh, doing this with my computer and I can make my letters very large. Still waiting for my new glasses that will help me with my reading. This was from May 1989. Eat my dust. The movie actor sneered and yelled, Eat my dust, sucker! Then, with squealing tires, two cars were off across town, down alleys, around sharp curves, chasing one another. Without a speck of dust flying, no one in that silly film ever ate anyone's dust. I was in a different situation. I had eaten dust since breakfast. It was in my mouth, my nose, my ears, and coated my hair. But I wasn't on any movie set. I was sitting high on a tractor without a cab, doing field work, and dust the dust I was eating was my own. Rain hadn't dampened our field for weeks, so anything we did stirred up dust. It was scary, considering the weather we had to live with through last year, but I was going to be optimistic, well, almost. I was going to listen to the weather reports and try to believe them. While paying a bill at our co-op, the conversation around the counter centered on the chance of rain. Yeah, said one dusty farmer, I hear it's supposed to rain all night. A couple of inches is just what we need. Another smiled. I can't stand around here wasting time. I want to finish my back 40 before all that rain gets here. My optimism slipped. The prediction is for 40% chance tonight and 50% tomorrow. I don't bet on those odds, I said. The other farmers didn't care for my attitude and hurried off to their pickup trucks. Thursday, the clouds came rolling in Oh boy, I thought those weather people were right. A drop of wetness hit me in the face, then another and another. They were small misty drops, but they were better than nothing than nothing we had before. The weather report on the 10 o'clock news that night re-evaluated the chance of rain. The next day, they changed to 70% chance for showers. That kind of uh, percentage I'll even bet on. Finally, my hope soared just like everyone else's. The day dawned cloudy. It began to sprinkle as I left the house. I smiled up at the promising cloudy sky and waited. Sprinkles came and went. Once the weather almost worked itself into a drizzle, but that was all. The sun eventually came out and dried things up again. A long time ago, I used to be a real honest to goodness optimist. Back then I figured everything would turn out for the best. The stars in my eyes got in the way of clear vision, I guess. Then I married my pessimistic husband and gradually adopted Bob's attitude. I don't expect anything good to happen, Bob said many times. Then if things turn out for the better, I'm happily surprised. But on the other hand, if it doesn't work out, I'm not disappointed. That's what I expected all along. That was Bob's attitude. Right this minute, rain clouds have come over our farm. Maybe they will drop enough moisture to do some good. Maybe they won't. If it rains, I'll be happy. If it doesn't, well, what else could I expect? I know this kind of thinking works, but <laughs> it still grates on my old, dusty, optimistic heart. Well, there you have it. Eat my dust. And I'll tell you, after being on a tractor without a cab and having all that dust blowing in at me. And Bob had the same thing going with whatever he was doing that day. Not nice, not fun. And I can't, um, I'll have to read more to find out how that year ended. I don't remember, but somehow we eked through those bad years and kept farming. That was the trick to keep farming. I hope you have a great day 
and you come back again for one of my stories. Until then.